Good afternoon. It is afternoon at Grow Alabama, Monday afternoon, and all the food's not in yet. The farmers are still bringing it in. Three things coming in, act two more things coming in from Alabama that I can't show you today, but we're going to show you what we do got, and uh, everything else will be uh, in this afternoon and will be in your box tomorrow. Uh, what we have this afternoon, uh, this week, we have some beautiful broccoli from, from North Carolina. Um, uh, we're gonna have our own. We will have our own very soon. Uh, we have cremini mushrooms. These little mushrooms are so tasty, they go a long way uh, flavor-wise. Uh, uh, cremini mushrooms, these are actually baby portobello mushrooms. Uh, we have some beautiful bulb vidalias. They're getting bigger uh, coming from Georgia. We will have our own onions very soon and they're they're better than any vidalia onion you'll ever have. So we got great uh, great onions to go with your um, with your uh, perhaps go with your cremini mushrooms. Uh, we also have Carrots and parsnips. These are coming from Georgia. I've been to the carrot fields. I've been to the carrot processing operation. And we're going to have, uh, I'm very happy to say, we're going to have acres and acres and acres of our own carrots and parsnips coming this year. Uh, I'm excited about that. I hope you will be too. we got to get our own farmers growing. And thank you so much for supporting this operation. We're having fun with it and making it work. One thing that is very exciting to me, one of my favorite things, is watercress. One of my favorite things in the world. Now, watercress, um, this came from one of our, one of our customers who I guess she wouldn't really call herself a farmer, but it grows on her farm and she and her lady friends gathered it for, and her children, gathered it for us on, on uh, Saturday afternoon. This is watercress from the most beautiful uh, stream uh, up in Blunt County and uh, we will have hundreds and hundreds of pounds of it coming. Uh, right now uh, we, we I didn't want to take the risk of saying there was enough for all boxes because there might not have been. So we, we just put the watercress in the large boxes uh, this week and we're going to do a demo, a cooking demo. Our chef, uh, Angela from Chef U, is going to be doing a demo on what to do with watercress. This is mild here the first of the year. It's very mild watercress. Of course you can do a lot of things with it and she'll go into some more depth with it. Of course it's good in salads. Anywhere you would use spinach you could use it uh, uh, in the place of spinach, make a pesto with it. She'll, she'll go into more depth about that here in a little bit. Um, and we do have spinach. I think our spinach is coming from Florida or Texas was it? I can't remember. It's, it's not Alabama grown but we do have quite a bit of spinach coming from Alabama in the next few weeks. In addition to those wonderful vegetables that you got coming this week, we have some really fine apples. These are from Michigan. They're Braeburns. They're crisp, tart, sweet, and delicious. Enjoy. It's been so rainy. It's been a very tough, about the last six months, it's been very tough uh, getting planted and uh, uh, I was uh, up at a farm on, on uh, Saturday and uh, just saw some beautiful, beautiful red kale coming, lettuces uh, coming. Uh, what's not here from Alabama today is collard greens. Collard greens that are cleaned, chopped, and bagged. They're already ready to cook. I hope you will tr give this a try. See how you like it. They're not here yet. They, they finished them up this morning. They're coming from South Alabama. They will be here in time to go in your boxes tomorrow. <laughs> uh, 
What else is not here is our lettuces from our aquaponic operation in, Moran, in um, uh, Marion, Alabama. They're down there taking pictures we'll, uh, while they pick up uh, the lettuces today. So they will be here. This is a wonderful operation and a lot more things will be coming from it other than, um, uh, other than uh, uh, lettuces. Uh, so we're going to have fun, fun with it. We just have a lot of stuff coming over the next few weeks, and we will be 100% Alabama very soon. And we're making arrangements for next year uh, with with greenhouses going up in South Alabama, also in uh, North Alabama, uh, greenhouses that will allow us to extend through the through the fall and the winter. Uh, Far better than we were this year. You're going to see this this summer much more crops, much more varieties uh, than than have ever grown in Alabama uh, coming up this this spring and this this summer. Uh, thanks very much for your support, and see you next week.